Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today, I am grocery shopping. All right, we are going to go grocery shopping because we're starting to run low on a few things. I'm curious to see what it's gonna look like in there. I was there a couple days ago and there was still toilet paper left. We didn't have any empty shelves, at least at Aldi. So we'll see, our next stop is Walmart. Mm, a little scared to see what it's gonna be like there. As you can see, the bread's all gone. This area is looking a little sparse. Oh, no. Tortilla chips? What? We actually need tortilla chips. The cheese is all gone. Cheese completely gone. High crust is gone, biscuits, sour cream, yogurt, yogurts, all gone. Okay, cool, cool. Cream cheese is all gone. There is butter left though. We actually don't need butter. What do you think, Gideon? Yeah, same. You can only purchase four cans at a time per variety. So, maybe we should get some canned chicken. We don't have any of that on hand. I don't think we were necessarily a canned chicken. There's only four cans of Spam left. The ramen is completely gone. Yeah. Right, you look at the can? Here are where the paper towels are. Or were. Here's the toilet paper. They were out of sour cream. And they were actually out of a lot of stuff. The toilet paper leaving the store. Oh my word. And that's why there's no toilet paper. That person has a bunch of toilet paper in their car. Now we're at Walmart. We're going to get powdered milk. We'll see how crazy it is in there. You just see people walking around with toilet paper in their arms, toilet paper in their carts. Like, this is just crazy to me. So here's the mac and cheese aisle and all the box dinners. Pretty much gone. Can you guess what aisle this is? All their ice is gone. Why has ramen become so popular all of a sudden? Here is where the ramen was. Here is the pasta. I guess no one likes lasagna. If you're in the general Here's the soup aisle. This is the tomato sauce aisle. Powdered milk is all gone. I get why people are panic buying because just walking around and seeing the shelves empty, I'm starting to think, oh no, are we gonna have enough food? And then that mentality, it gets to you because you're like, oh no, I need to buy a couple extra things just to make sure I'm gonna have food. Here's the toilet paper aisle. There's just, just the expensive kind of and it looks like they just got a shipment in, I guess, of this. Here is the sanitizing products aisle. It's all gone. <laughs> Here's the bread aisle. Just finished up at Walmart, and not surprisingly, a lot of the shelves were pretty bare. You can see what things that people don't like, and also the really expensive things are still there. So people are like, I want this, but I don't need this. I don't need it enough to pay a lot of money for it, but if it's cheap, I'm gonna get it. The people that were shopping are not the people I normally see, but I also don't normally go shopping on a Sunday afternoon. I saw so many college age students, and I wonder if it's just because it's Sunday afternoon, but I'm also wondering why they are stocking up on things because they're leaving for spring break soon, and then classes move to online classes. My theory is that the parents are like, hey, Go to the Walmart, stock up, and then come home for spring break. <laughs> Their Walmart's probably out of stuff. Alas, our Walmart is out too. That was a little fun excursion grocery shopping. Anyway, I hope you like this video. Like and subscribe for more just like this, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. It's gonna get worse. Man, you are worse than media. <laughs> it's gonna get worse, everybody. Okay. I mean, I'm, that's what the media is saying. They keep on saying it's gonna get worse before it gets better. This was shopping during the pandemic. Do you think I should call it that? Ooh. Grocery shopping during the pandemic. It's technically true. It's gonna get better.